Hi, it's Jermaine Shack, and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be uh, talking about the construction of my uh, cartoon scale CO2 powered L4 Cub. Uh, what you see in front of me is uh, my cutout uh, parts to build the model. Um, these are beautifully printed on this lightweight foam. The foam is uh, 0.25 millimeters and it's similar to Depron. It's called Durabatics. Unfortunately, the Durabatics is not available anymore, but uh, it's very similar to uh, sliced, thinly sliced Depron, uh, which could also be used for this uh, model's design. How we do that is we take this product called InkAid, and the InkAid is sprayed onto the foam, three to four coats. I airbrush it on, but you can use a, a thick brush also, but I seem to get better results with my airbrush. Um, the model will use this beautiful GB24 CO2 motor, and uh, I'm going to go just over some simple basic assembly steps along the way. And uh, But first, if uh, you would like to see more content like this, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Okay, you can see I have everything laid out in front of me here. I uh, cut out all the parts, uh, with the exception I still have a few pieces of the uh, the wing struts, uh, some detailed pieces to cut out. Um, I installed a 0.8 millimeter carbon rod in the fuselage to give it some strength. I use this glue, UHU Pour, for uh, assembly of uh, probably 90% of the model. It is the best foam glue that I have found to date. It has excellent adhesion qualities and uh, when you're laminating two pieces of foam together uh, it doesn't shrink this thin foam if you use the wrong glue will shrink and kind of warp so it uh, this works perfectly so I highly recommend this glue um, say glued the uh, made up the uh, the wheels the wheels are just uh, laminated uh, little pieces of foam and then I stuck this in my Dremel tool and spun it and with a little sanding block I rounded the edges and painted the edges black uh, with some paint. I think they came out really nice. Same with the uh, the tail wheel. And the uh, landing gear itself is just bent. Music wire. Kind of a pain to bend all that, but uh, it comes together nicely. Uh, the CO2 motor is in its location. I cut a little slot out where that's going to go. The tank is approximately in the CG location and I can move the tank forward or backwards to adjust the CG as necessary. Uh, the wing, the wing had uh, cut, there was little uh, slots cut in the wing and that formed the dihedral airplane has lots of dihedral and uh, should be good for the uh, for uh, rudder control. It gives us nice turns and it should help it fly uh, fairly uh, stable. Um, so after uh, everything is in place on the fuselage, I can glue the other half of the fuselage on, which I will do here shortly. And uh, I also have to uh, install an actuator in the stabilizer. And I think I'm going to do a separate video on that. I've had questions on how to install an actuator. It's very simple, but uh, there could be some issues uh, soldering. So I will. I think I'll do a separate how-to video on that. And we'll show you guys how to do that. But uh, I will continue the assembly. And uh, in the next uh, uh, next step, uh, we'll have most of the uh, assembly uh, completed. And uh, we'll go from there. Okay, here is the uh, fuselage with the CO2 motor installed. Uh, I also installed the landing gear. Um, now I'm going to put some of that UHU pour glue on and uh, install the other side of the fuselage. Okay, here we have the completed cartoon scale CO2 powered uh, L4 cub. The model has uh, lots of detail. I added uh, the wing struts. Got some nice landing gear detail. Um, the flying wires on the tail are replicated. Um, I have modeled, uh, have the antennas on there. Uh, just some nice little details. Um, the uh, GB24 is mounted nicely. Um, I made a couple little changes. Uh, I had to change out the um, in hinge elevator actuator. Um, just didn't have enough power, so I went with a. B 
PSD actuator uh, from Bob Selman's designs. Uh, it was manufactured years ago, but uh, it's a good little actuator. The uh, rudder still uses a 100 milligram in hinge type actuator. Um, the model, uh, let's see, uh, weighs 18 grams ready to fly. I have the uh, CO2 tank mounted between uh, the fuselage parts right there. Um, just a little comparison. The uh, foam prototype that I made, this was the uh, electric prototype I made to see how the design flies. You can watch uh, this fly in a separate video. That weighs only 5 grams, so it's significantly lighter than the uh, CO2 powered version, but the uh, CO2 model airplane just has uh, the cool factor about it. Um, you know, years ago, before we had uh, LiPo powered. Uh, batteries. Uh, we use NICADs and nickel metal hydride batteries and um, 18 grams would actually be a, a respectable weight for this for this model. So uh, overall I'm pleased with it. Uh, we're going to take it outside and uh, give it a test flight. Okay we're going to put a test flight on the uh, CO2 powered cartoon scale L4 Cub. Uh, first thing we'll do we'll um, check the controls. They look okay. We're going to give it a Fresh uh, CO2 charge. All right, we will flick the prop. It's still climbing. All right, there you have it, the uh, cartoon scale CO2 powered L4 Cub.